Rovers and get involved with us. Uh, this is one from Sarah. She says this is good news for Newcastle fans. Or is it? Mike actually has released an emotional statement where he still manages to avoid the question of where the breakdown was with Wise and Keegan. I believe that Mike Ashley is an excellent businessman and this statement is genius PR rubbish. He is arrogant and refuses to hold his hands up and say, I got this wrong. All he had to do was say, OK, Keegan in, Wise out, Keegan gets the management structure, the one he wants. End of story. Yet somehow this is not what he has chosen to do. Well, it's impossible to actually read all these out because they're so long. If you make them be a little bit shorter, we could squeeze a few more in. Um, this one here from Phil Carroll, who says, Mike Ashley's statement is too late. It's great news that he's confirmed his intention to sell. However, everyone has known this for some time. This statement is merely confirming his intentions publicly. For a successful businessman, I cannot believe his communication to the fans of Newcastle United, who we should remember are his marketplace customers, has been so poor and infrequent. Uh, lots of emails on this tonight. Do keep them coming. Uh, this is from Jan. She says quite simply, what a mess we are in. Thanks to the board. It's disgusting. Uh, one uh, from an Everton fan um, who would love to see Mike Ashley by uh, Everton Football Club. And, uh, and I remember one earlier for actually from a Liverpool fan saying at least Sith Manchester City and Newcastle have got rid of their owners if only they could get rid of their Americans. So perhaps there's a silver lining. Uh, I've just read Ashley's statement on the club's website. Why on earth has he not come out before now and explained his situation? to the clubs and the club's finances to the fans. It could have avoided all of this fast that has happened over the last couple of weeks. Elaine Gateshead, who is a season ticket holder. Uh, and one here, lastly, from Harry Davis, who says, I'm totally against any form of violence at football. Uh, uh, but I do need to make uh, to make some comments about Mike Ashley's claims that he cannot take his children to Newcastle football games because of fear of violence. Number one, where are his children normally? I've never seen them attending a game, so why bring them into the frame now? And number two, obviously he thinks swilling pints of beer live on television is acceptable in front of your own children. Uh, this is uh, from uh, another fan, this is from Jim, who says, uh, Keegan is a joke, you're all living in the past. Ashley was trying to turn you into a modern day club using new techniques and new systems. Uh, do you think that Keegan had anything to do with finding your recent buys? No, yet you're all raving about them. Keep those coming in and remember if you can make them a little bit shorter because we can't bring up reams and reams and reams, we've got more chance of getting more of them in. You know the address, you to us at skysports.com, on the text 84408 or join the debate on the website where you can be as long as you like, <laughs> www.skysports.com. Right, let's get more now on Everton's 3-2 win over Stoke at the Britannia Stadium. David Moyes missed the closing stage of the game. That after he was sent to the stands. But Tim Cahill ensured it was...